Uh, thank you, uh, Senator Stabenow, and thanks to uh, you and Senator Bozeman for the opportunity to appear today uh, virtually and for the committee's uh, indulgence. And I want to thank uh, my senator, Senator Grassley, for those kind remarks and certainly for his longtime service uh, to the people of Iowa and the country. Uh, he is uh, someone that I have a great deal of admiration for and appreciate the fact that he took time to introduce me to the committee today. Um, and it's not lost on me, uh, ironically, that this is Groundhog's Day. Uh, and I realize that uh, I'm back again, uh, but I also realize that this is a fundamentally different time, uh, and I am a different person, uh, and it is a different department, uh, and I think we have to uh, recognize that uh, going into this process. Uh, when I was uh, getting involved in politics, I followed uh, uh, Robert Kennedy uh, and uh, sort of modeled uh, my, my views uh, after his, and he often challenged us to think about uh, why not, he used to quote, uh, uh, the quote that uh, some people look at things as they are and say why and others dream of things that never were and say why not. Uh, I think we are faced today uh, with a number of why not opportunities and moments in agriculture, uh, in the food industry, uh, and in rural America. Clearly, uh, COVID is on the minds of everyone, as it should be. And the Department of Agriculture has a responsibility to aggressively promote the nutrition assistance that you all have provided and they have begun to do that uh, in the last week to 10 days. Uh, we also, as Senator Bozeman indicated, have to review uh, the, uh, the additional relief that's been ordered by Congress and try to get that uh, into the hands of farmers, ranchers, producers, and those in rural America as quickly, efficiently, as effectively as possible. We need to make sure that our workers, our essential workers on the line, uh, in the farm fields, uh, in processing facilities and alike uh, are protected uh, and recognized as the essential workers they are. And we certainly need to work uh, collaboratively with the Congress and others uh, to build back the rural economy in better shape than it was before the COVID uh, crisis. But there, I think, are four uh, why not moments that I'd like to briefly address uh, to the committee before taking your questions. I think we are at a why not moment with reference to the climate change. I think there's an opportunity for us to create new markets, incentives for soil health, uh, for carbon sequestration, for methane capture and reuse uh, by building a rural economy based on biomanufacturing, uh, protecting our forests, uh, turning waste material into new chemicals and materials and fabrics and fibers, creating more jobs in rural America, creating greater farm income stability, and also reducing emissions. I think we face a why not moment with reference to food security that plagues millions of financially distressed children, uh, seniors, and families. Uh, and also uh, a why not moment on nutrition insecurity uh, that causes millions of Americans, especially people of color, uh, to cope with obesity and diabetes and other chronic diseases. I think we can create a food system that makes healthy and nutritious food more available, more convenient, and more affordable to all Americans. We are in a why mo uh, not moment in terms of the openness and competitiveness of our markets. Uh, the reality is we lack openness, fairness, and competitiveness, and resiliency as the COVID-19 crisis has shown in many of our agricultural markets. I think we can strengthen the rules and laws designed to promote openness and fairness. I think we can support more marketing and processing opportunities and facilities uh, throughout the country uh, that will help to create jobs, uh, greater resilience, and more competitiveness in our food system. And finally, uh, as Senator Stabenow has indicated, we need to fully, deeply, and completely address the longstanding inequities, unfairness, and discrimination that has been the history of USDA programs uh, for far too long, to a future where all are treated equitably, fairly, where there is zero tolerance for discrimination, where programs actually open up opportunity for all who need help and lift the burden of persistent poverty for those most in need. And I'm happy to talk to the committee in great length about uh, the plans to do just that. I recognize the unprecedented challenge that we face with COVID. And while pursuing these why not opportunities will not shirk the duties and responsibilities of the department connected to COVID relief and recovery, as well as all of our other responsibilities. I look forward to working collaboratively with you on the committee, uh, if confirmed, uh, to state and local leaders, uh, the private sector, the philanthropic sector, and hardworking and the dedicated team at USDA to make a brighter and better future possible in rural America for farmers, ranchers, producers, and those who live, work, and raise their families in rural communities. It is the faith that President Biden and Vice President Harris have placed in me, uh, the confidence they have in us working together uh, that can make a real difference to the country, 
and especially in rural America. And I look forward to the opportunity to work with all of you and to respond to your questions today. Thank you, Sergeant.